Hi, I'm Mark Molacek from SciTrain.co.uk and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Pixel Bender in Photoshop CS5. Okay, now Pixel Bender is a free download from Adobe Labs website and it's a set of filters that allows you to create a really interesting effect within Photoshop CS5. Okay, let me first show you how to find it. So I'll go jump to my web browser and the easier way to find it, because the address is quite complicated, is if you go to photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk If you scroll down a bit, the, in the tax section, just click on Photoshop Filters and in here you find a post with Pixel Bender, display with Pixel Bender, and here's a link to Adobe Labs. So you can click on it and then jump into Adobe Labs to download the Pixel Bender plugin for Photoshop CS5. It's also one for CS4. Okay, so I'll just minimize that. Just close it. Now I'm here in Photoshop. I'm going to use this image here and I'll show you a few Pixel Bender filters. So I'll go to Filter, Pixel Bender, that's where it appears once you download it and install it in Photoshop. And I'll go to Pixel Bender Gallery. And there's lots of filters in here. For example, that's the one that I recently played with the Tube View filter. You can change the radius, which will change the size of the tube or the image. Okay. You can set the turbulence. Very interesting effect. Then we can also change move the center point. I moved it on this area here, but you can easily move it anywhere you want within your image. So you can move that somewhere here, maybe on the front of the building on some people. There's lots of them in here. Uh, let's have a look on some others. Uh, circle Splash. Very interesting effect. I'm just going to move that maybe somewhere here. And I can move the radius. Okay. I'm just going to move it down. Trying to center it. I'll maybe make it slightly smaller. That's a really interesting effect with the Circle Splash. Let's have a look on the Fisheye. Not exactly what you would expect from a fisheye, and if you look about fisheye lenses in photography. But something really interesting. I'm just going to move the radius to maximum. Now I'll just move the counterpoint for the x-axis and for the y-axis. And if I just drag move it in, it looks like a page in a book. A very interesting effect using the fisheye in the pixel bender. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. And also a hole. Okay. Just a hole. <laughs> so I'm going to skip that. Kaleidoscope. This is really interesting. If you remember the kaleidoscopes in the old days. So I'm going to move the fade color zero a bit. So you can see how it changes the color. Now what I would do here is I would change the size to about here. Then move the center point. Starts looking really interesting. That looks good. And maybe this size as well. Very interesting. I really love that. That's a good one. Then you can rotate it as well. It's rotating. Another really, really interesting fact in here in the Pixel Bender. Then I'll show you all paint. That's the one I created on my blog for the Shalatron Bridge.co.uk. All paint. We can create paintings, oil paintings with your images. Stylization will change the amount of strokes or details in the image. Okay, and then you can clean it a bit, softening the strokes, brush strokes. Colorization, okay. very contrasty. So I'll just lower it a bit. Brush scale, so you can scale it up and down. Okay, brush strokes. Ah, I like this kind of effect. Very interesting one. So there's the old paints. Okay, there's many more. Oh, I like the old paints, so I'll just press OK to accept it. And this is the image inside Photoshop. So have a look on it. Play with the Pixel Bender kit. Pixel Bender Gallery within Photoshop. It's all free. You can download it from Adobe Labs website. Have fun, enjoy it, and let me know what you think.
Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from SciTrain.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. I hope you enjoyed it and have fun with the Pixel Bender. Thank you.